Okay, our next problem goes as follows. 24.3 grams of magnesium is burned in 16 grams of oxygen gas. 40.3 grams of magnesium oxide is formed from this reaction. If 24.3 grams of magnesium is burned in 80 grams of oxygen gas, and then we have several parts to this problem. The first one is, what is the total mass of the substances present after this reaction? So there's a lot of numbers here, but really you have to take it one step at a time. First thing we know is 24.3 grams of magnesium, we burn it in 16 grams of oxygen, and we get 40.3 grams of magnesium oxide. All right, but if we turn around and we take the same exact amount of magnesium, 24.3 grams, and we flood the chamber with a lot more oxygen, 80 more grams of oxygen, first part is, what is the total mass of the substances present after the reaction? the second reaction with 80 grams. So it's really a law of conservation of mass thing, but the, the first thing you should just sort of think about is if we have 24.3 grams of magnesium, mg is magnesium, and we add to that the amount of oxygen that was in the chamber before, which is 80 grams of oxygen, then the question is, what is the total mass of the substances after the chemical reaction. So we just add them together. 24.3 plus 80 is going to give me 104.3 grams after. Now, of course, some of this magnesium is going to combine with some of that oxygen to give me magnesium oxide, but there's going to be a whole lot of extra oxygen left over because our problem actually said 24.3 grams of magnesium burns with 16 grams of oxygen, giving us 40.3 grams of magnesium oxide. But if we take the same exact amount of magnesium and just put it with more oxygen in the chamber, we're probably not going to form any more magnesium oxide because really we have a fixed amount of magnesium. So we might put 100 tons of oxygen in the, contain in the container, but once we run out of magnesium to react with, the reaction stops producing anything new. And that's what kind of happens here. We, we start off with 24.3 grams of magnesium, we burn it in 80 grams of oxygen, uh, but to find the mass of the substances total after the reaction still obeys the law of conservation of mass, so we just add them together. Now our second question is, what mass of magnesium oxide is formed? What mass of magnesium oxide is formed? And I think you can see, you can use a little bit of logic here to sort of think about this. If we started with 24.3 grams initially, and we burned it with 16 grams of oxygen, and we only formed 40.3 grams of magnesium oxide, we used up everything, what do you think is going to happen if we